What's up guys, it's Chris from Eagle Ridge Homestead and it is truck time. So I actually have a few things to talk about. Um, one thing I want to talk to you guys about are these masks that a good friend of mine over at Shadow Gear makes. Um, in this time where we can't get them and for like myself, I have COPD so if I mow the grass, if I'm sanding something, uh, if I'm doing drywall, if I'm doing anything with any kind of particulates, I have to have a mask. And now, with everybody panic buying all of them, I can't get them. So, uh, Anthony at Shadow Gear has developed these masks. And what it has is there's a loop down here on the bottom. I'll try to make that a little more clear. Uh, this is stretchy. And this is stitched in. The stitching is phenomenal on this. He really put some research in on this. Uh, so it's fully adjustable. You tie it off, and once you have it where you want it, you, you snip off the loose end. I haven't done that yet. But um, you can adjust them to where you like. They're breathable. I've had my, my glasses on. I've had my sunglasses on. Uh, it sounds like you can still hear me fairly well, um, but it, it works. Um, it works, and uh, they are 100% cotton. They're machine washable. You can only air dry them though because this piece on the nose obviously is adjustable and you can contour it to your own face, um, but that cannot go in the dryer. And personally, I've been hand washing mine from the face side that I wash down through to make sure particulates wash away. But uh, if you want any of that information, you can contact me. Or if you can see that, you can go to his website. It's shadowgear.us. Yeah, shadowgear.us. And uh, he's got a lot of other great gear on there too that when this is all over, we're working on getting his YouTube and website set up a little better. Um, they're eight bucks. I mean, that's not bad for something that is completely reusable. We actually bought uh, two or three of them from him. So we'd have them. So definitely appreciate the help that we get from Shadow Gear. Uh, don't don't get me wrong; it's not like I'm being paid to tell you guys about it. Nothing like that. Uh, I just wanted to mention it and kind of help his business grow. But uh, anyway, I've been a little derelict with the channel lately. You see, my eyes are red. My allergies are off the charts right now, and uh, so that's made it really hard to get some things done. And uh, then I got some information, it's actually last week, a really good friend of mine, I've known him for about 19, 20 years, that I used to play music with, uh, was in a very bad car accident, single vehicle accident, and uh, came out of that with a broken femur, a dislocated hip, and a traumatic brain injury. Um, he is still in a coma and is steadily being downgraded. And his wife is struggling with the choice of taking him off a ventilator or not. Um, off the ventilator, he's not going to make it. And uh, that's been hard to deal with. Uh, for those of you that pray and things like that, his name is Brandon. By all means, you know, send up a prayer, send up good thoughts, good vibes, whatever you're into. That's been rough. That's been rough to deal with. And then she asked me, should the worst happen to be the one that plays some songs and things like that. And I immediately said yes, but I also didn't put the thought into it of how difficult that's going to be. <clears throat> and I'm not going to shy away from being emotional about it. Um, I don't believe in this machoism crap. So that, that's that been heavily weighing on my mind. Uh, if, if you're if you're a long time sub or if you're if you're new and you're just now looking through these playlists uh, you'll find Daniel in a couple of truck time videos Daniel and Brandon and I and Daniel's father had a band called South Fork well at the time I think we were called South Fork boys and then we were like you know let's drop let's drop the boys and we became South Fork and so we played all over the place we did a lot of good shows we had a lot of good jams did a lot of things that teenagers do that involves a lot of things that teenagers do. <laughs> a lot of good memories there. Um, 
Now, I, I've lost family members and things like that, but I think this is the first close friend I've lost. And we recently reconnected because he was helping me with some of my spirituality, uh, my music, uh, alcoholism. I mean, we were talking about a lot of heavy things, and uh, that's a hard one to swallow. I'm not even going to lie about it. But anyway, so what I'm going to try to do, you guys will probably get a uh, Sunday Jams video today as well. I'm trying to get up as many videos as I can because I've been really lacking on content. And uh, Tina over at Striving for the Simple Life is doing her thousand sub giveaway, and we're involved with that. Um, so I might get a video up of, of what my contribution is going to be. Um, but since she is shouting us out and, and kind of helping us out, I want to you know, mention her. And I want to get some more content up for you guys. Um, because it's been the thing, right? Let me know if it's good or bad. People are, are absolutely blowing me away with their comments on my music videos. Because I'm like, I'm a cruddy washed up guitar player from Belmont, man. What? what? <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, I, I was pretty steadily building a, a, a music career when a car accident changed that. Um, I don't know if you can see that really. Yeah, there you go. So this muscle and a bunch of ligaments were severed as well as ignore all the other scars as well as there we go that one in that car accident so both of them were about 15 stitches uh, this one actually had some internal stitching to repair some of the ligaments so my hands don't work quite the way they used to and that's why it was really hard to get back into it but I've been trying but uh Let's see. God, there's so much to talk about. Um, my vegetables, uh, you can't see them because I can't see them because there's a clothesline in the way. I've got tomato plants, you know, about that high. They're ready to get in the ground. I, I rented a tiller last week, and I've got four plots ready to go. Uh, we got tomatoes, peppers, uh, gosh, eggplants, squash, cucumber, zucchini. I've got some bean seeds, I've got uh, corn, I've got okra, I've got all kinds of stuff to get in the ground. I think the okra is actually, <laughs> yeah, the okra seeds are still actually floating around in here like I'm some kind of damn drug dealer. Um, <laughs> sorry, my allergies are ramping up here. And it's, it's like 85 degrees, so I'm, you guys forgive me if I look haggard and I can't get to a barber to, to get this cut away. So I'm doing my best with it. I, if it's not a high and tight, I, I can't stand it. Uh, what else? You saw in the intro. Uh, no, you didn't, because I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm doing something different. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> I fixed my truck. So I did plugs and wires. Um, we put new tires on it, did an alignment. Uh, I cleaned out the EGR valve, uh, which was a trick that actually Tina's husband told me. Um, Pull the EGR and get that cleaned out really well. And the thing runs like a dream. It runs like a champ. And uh, I have no complaints. So that, that was good. Got that done yesterday. And uh, let's see. What else? That's about it, really. So I just wanted to kind of clue you guys in as to what was going on in my life. And the various reasons. I For about two weeks, I've been on hiatus, more or less. That's what's going on. And, uh, again, life gets in the way, and this is, this is just YouTube. Right now, this is just a hobby. Uh, I, I, I hope it becomes a business at some point, but, uh, I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I, I'm big on true life, not reality, stories, and things, no, actual life, you know. And let you know, yeah, I'm having a hard time. I'm having a real, real hard time right now. And, uh... Even though things are going great, that seems to be the way life is, right? Things are really on the up and up. I'm getting my house fixed. I fixed my truck. Uh, we're caught up on bills. Everything's good. Life is good. Then there's some crap. <laughs> so, that's the way it is. But uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out and hanging around and waiting. I've lost a couple subs here and there, and you know... I stand by. If you don't like my channel, if you don't like what we're doing, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, again, like, comment, share. Make sure you're subscribed. If you don't like it, that's fine. Give me a dislike. But you gotta tell me why. That's my only deal. Tell me why.
what am I doing wrong? And that's so I can provide better content. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here because I have a gardening video to do. I have a Sunday jams video to do. I have, hell, I might even do a cooking video because I need to do some meal prep. But I don't know what I'm going to cook yet. I got like 40 pounds of chicken in there that I got to do something with. But, uh, all right. I appreciate you guys, and uh, it's going to be a good day.